working on your past, uh, maybe working and aligning your past uh, ancestry and cutting the ties with your ancestry or things that have gone wrong. Uh, maybe uh, you are channeling with entities from other stars or entities from other dimensions are channeling through you. There's just a myriad of different, um, all kinds of different things happening simultaneously. So it depends where you get tied into and where your connection is and what really appeals to you and feels good for you. And, but basically, 99.99% .99 of the spiritual seekers, they're viewing the world as me and the world. And of course, the world is really screwed up and uh, there's a million different things wrong with it. So uh, if you have compassion towards animals, then you may get pulled into uh, developing, uh, trying to fight for animals' rights. So the world is mean and it's uh, enslaving animals and you get very angry about that and you want to fight for that and how we're treating the animals. Whether we're testing them for chemical stuff or we're killing them, taking their skin, taking their meat, uh, all the vicious things that human beings do to the animals. So you get pulled into that direction. Some people are more, you know, and some people are into environment. They're very much into saving the planet, saving the forest, the water, the air, uh, the oceans. So they become activists in that direction. And again, they're fighting for that. So again, but it's still you and them. It's you and the world. So you're blaming the world for what is going on. Uh, some of us, we are going to the past. So we carry this story of my life, my past, all the things that happened to me rightfully because I'm growing up, the parents are screwed up, they're unconscious, naturally, the planet, most of it is unconscious, and they just create babies, they don't even think twice, no one thinks, they just make babies, and everybody else is going like this, go ahead, do it, and then after they make the babies, they're wondering, what the hell did I do? I'm not equipped, I'm not educated, I don't even know how, to, how the hell to handle this, and I'm not ready for this commitment. So conveniently, we dump the babies on the lap of the mom or grandma and we exit, we run away. So the kids, they are abandoned and no one's really attending to them and they don't get the kind of love and security and the care that they need. And so it's very clear, just look around you right now and see what is going on. You know, just open the eyes and look around and see what's happening. And <clears throat> so now we're having these adults that coming from these broken families and they're blaming their past, they're blaming the parents, the guardians, the life circumstances for what has happened to them. So the blame continues because it's me as the adult and this is my past and this is what society or my parents have done to me. So someone has done me wrong. So that's another scenario. Another scenario is, as you all are very familiar with it, is how much a lot of us are focused on our governments, whether the country or local government, and we're pointing fingers at so many different things that are wrong in where we live, with the environment, with the, the way the mayor runs the city or the way where we live is being 
handled uh, the system and you know there's a myriad of different things that you can put your fingers finger on and blame other people and blame the system for the way it is the list goes on and on and on it depends where your focus goes you know some are very much invested in that this planet is on the verge of destruction or the society is going to be destroyed and it's all screwed up living in a city um, and we need to move to the country and go live somewhere very peaceful away from the city and not be engaged with the city because city people are evil they're bad they're unconscious so now we need to live in the country or do our own farming and be disconnected from them or uh, not being involved with them. So many people in conscious community, they're focused on, okay, we need to be vegan or be vegetarian and not eat the animal products and we need to eat organic and their attention really goes on those things. So again, it's me and them, and they get really trapped into that mentality, that way of thinking of things, but they don't realize in this whole crusade of me being eating organic, me being vegetarian, me, I don't want to eat you know, meat, meat or anything like that. I don't want to contribute to that. But then this... We forget that if you're going to be doing anything like that, you have to go all the way. You can't just do it partially. You can't just say like, okay, I'm only going to eat organic or I'm only going to be a vegetarian, but I, I will use all the petroleum products. You know, I'll drive the car, I use the gas, I, you know, buy plastic products for my convenience, but this part of it is cool and is fashionable, so I'm really conscious here, but I use everything else. But this part is trendy, so you, you have to be aware of all of it. You can't just do one part of it and be ignorant to the rest of it. But again, being in this place of blaming everything else blaming others and blaming what has happened to us in the past but as you are waking up as you're evolving which it could be in some ways a fast process for some people it can develop really quickly da 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 da, -da. And it appears to be that way because it appears that with the 21st century, with information revolution, that how information has become available and how much electromagnetic waves are in the air with the cell phones, computers, and different kind of uh, satellites, different kind of ways of sending information and sharing news and information around the world and there is an appearance of things are really exhilarating and there is an appearance that on one hand the planet is on the course of its destruction and on the other hand the human consciousness is awakening and so there is like two separate forces are exhilarating into their process simultaneously um, as life goes forward. And in, in this thing which is happening and, and it appears to be that a number of people waking up especially with the younger generation uh, that they have a very high potential of transformation simultaneously a lot of confusion is going on so you're waking up you're expanding 
in this awakening that is happening and your self-awareness is kick, kicking in, pay attention to the words self-awareness. Self-awareness is your awakening. What is self-awareness? You're awakening to what? What are you awakening to? Okay, in the beginning you're learning the lingo. You're learning the language, right? And then your behavior changes, the way you dress changes. You're not driving, you know, you may move in from a gasoline car into an electric car. Uh, a lot of your other, other representation of yourself starts to change to demonstrate your spiritual and your conscious. And again, you're reading the books, you're working on yourself, you're doing a lot of the right stuff, okay? But one thing is missing. And that also requires because you're not really 100% looking at yourself. You're becoming awake and you're becoming conscious of environment and all the stuff that is going on, but it's very difficult, it's very scary, is to look at the shadows within ourselves, to look at the ugliness that we also carry within ourselves. And you know, this ugliness, once you look at it and you bring light to it, it will transform to beauty. But for majority of spiritual seekers, it's very easy to always put the finger at something outside of themselves and blame someone else or something else or the system and not really look at ourselves not look at our unconscious parts and when i'm referring to that i'm not talking about looking at our unconscious parts in a form of self-blame because we've done that we've done that and that doesn't work and it doesn't serve us but really looking at yourself literally looking at these parts of yourself to see are you using the spiritual language the spiritual lingo to pick up to get momentum for yourself to get self-pity so people feel sorry for you for you to show yourself that you're righteous and everybody else is unconscious are you using this to show to boost up your ego that how much work you have done on yourself in your life therefore I'm very conscious and I'm so more so much more advanced in comparison to other people because I've done this 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 you got to be careful because it's very tricky this part this requires really attention paying attention because this is the part that you get you get very advanced you're very close and then it takes you in a loop and it just takes you back into the dungeon and into the gutters because most people don't want to look at that most people don't want to come to this place of expanding to the point of taking blame away and even in the things that happen to me you know let's say how many times I've been cheated I've been disserviced I've been lied to I've been screwed over I mean it happens to all of us we've been on both sides that we've done both we lied or we've been lied to 